and our continuing series on the greatest artists of all time. At number 62, Joni Mitchell. In 2004, in the Rolling Stone magazine, Jewel wrote, Joni Mitchell is a bigger icon than she is a star. Bob Dylan and Keith Richards became so famous that they're stars and icons. Joni is still unknown to lots of people. The impact she had wasn't flashy, but she influenced people who became stars. I remember a friend in high school playing me a case of you from Blue. I could tell that Joni was a painter by the way she wrote lyrics. She describes smells and sounds and uses fewer words to transmit more feeling. Her melodies are about shapes. The singing lines are slow, steep plateaus. One of the things I learned from Joni, if you can tell the story and keep things moving, you don't need to return to the chorus on time. What she writes is closer to journalism. On Blue, you hear everything she experienced, the highs and the lows. It's such a lonely album. Not in the I don't have any friends sense, but in the sense that you're a little bit removed and always watching. It takes a lot of courage to be that honest, especially as a woman. When she did it, it was a fluffy time. Pretty girls singing about pretty things. Joni had an edginess that not many women expressed then. Joni Mitchell never made a big deal out of being a woman. She had such a strong sexuality, but she didn't feel the need to deny that part of her in order to be taken seriously. She also didn't play it up, although many of her songs are about sex. Joel concludes, I met her at a Vanity Fair photo shoot. Stevie Wonder introduced us. He took my hand. I guess I led him to her. And he said, Joni, I'd like you to meet Jewel. I just shook her hand and tried to swallow. I didn't have anything to say to her. Her influence on me is so obvious. I hope she can hear it. Born Roberta Joan Anderson in November 1943 in Canada, Joni Mitchell is certainly one of the greatest artists of all time. She's worked with many jazz musicians, including Jaco Pistorius, Herbie Hancock, Pat Metheny, and Charlie Mingus. Mingus asked her to collaborate on his final recordings. She's the sole record producer on most of her albums, including all of her work from the 70s. She described herself as a painter derailed by circumstance. All Music said, When the dust settles, Joni Mitchell may stand as the most important and influential female recording artist of the late 20th century. Rolling Stone called her one of the greatest songwriters ever. Our song for today is that live version of Big Yellow Taxi from 1970. It peaked at number 24. Mitchell said about the song, I wrote Big Yellow Taxi on my first trip to Hawaii. I took a taxi to the hotel, and when I woke up the next morning, I threw back the curtains and saw these beautiful green mountains in the distance. Then I looked down, and there was a parking lot as far as the eye could see, and it broke my heart. This blight on paradise. That's when I sat down and wrote the song. It's our continuing series on the greatest artist of all time, at a number 62, Joni Mitchell. 